Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've been underutilizing our channel. Um, we had a couple questions on previous posts on explaining the videos and getting more in depth. Uh, we're gonna try to do that today. Um, we're going to be working on cutting off the bearing race and the bearing off of the shaft. Um, we have two rotors here for the demonstration. Um, we're going to be doing that with an acetylene torch. Um, if you want to take over on what you want to sure. describe. This is what happens when a customer sets it and forgets it. The, they put it in the motor in service and never grease the bearing. You can see here where the, the balls in the race have completely uh, were starved of lubrication and the, the cage was melted apart. And this is uh, what happens is uh, the, the balls are no longer rolling in the cage and they'll freeze up and then the race will start spinning on the shaft and it will essentially weld itself to the shaft. And here's another rotor where you can see where that damage has occurred. Uh, so there, there are different types of cutting uh, a bearing race off. The preferred method is with a torch where you don't get uh, uh, damage, further damage to uh, the journal. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going we're to make a cut across the top of the race. We're going to attempt to spin it around and then make another cut on the other side of the race and that will separate the two portions of the outer race. We can then cut the, the cage and take the cage away and then we'll wafer away the uh, inner race away from the shaft. And as I'm cutting, you'll notice that the, the race will start to be cut away and the shaft will be exposed if I do it right. Uh, we should have very little uh, damage to the shaft. We'll be using a cutting tip on the acetylene torch.
inner race. And as we come up to the journal, it is untouched. The importance of doing it fast. That is the importance of doing it fast, is that if the, the uh, journal does need repair, you don't add to it. And of course, we'll have to check to make sure the shaft is straight with that kind of damage. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you. Um, if this video was helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment of what you would like to see next. If there's anything special, um, we'll try to get to it and make it happen. Thank you.